What do you mean that's not all, Ed? Rich, I mean that just because the car wash is one of the most heavily trafficked caves in the Yucatan doesn't mean that there isn't cool stuff. Yeah, I had an occasion to uh, be taken into a location uh, that is essentially it's 87 feet down below the pond and you go through a bunch of cracks, uh, squirrel holes, uh, bedding planes, uh, some major restrictions, and you finally arrive at a location that uh, the final hole is about two and a half foot in diameter. Are we talking rat holes here? This is it, it, this is squirrely. It, squirrely not, this is off the main line. This is in a place where uh, not everyone would go in this Okay, game. okay. Uh, but if you pop your head through the final hole, you will see the remains of a human skeleton that was placed in that cave at least 12,000 years ago. Caveman. And the reason we know the 12,000 year timeline uh, is real because uh, some carbon. Yeah, the carbon. You'll see the fire sites. Yeah, the charcoal has been taken out of the fire site and mm -hmm. carbon date 14 tested. date tested. Yeah. And it came out 12,000 years in every case. So. Uh, well, these caves were last dry about 12,000 years ago in the last ice age. So this is an unusual cave dude. Yeah, he's a Neolithic cave person that uh, used flint in order to light fires. Uh, this particular guy was probably uh, one of the higher ups in the tribe to be buried this deep in a cave like that. Right. Uh, you can almost see a gurney under him, some kind of a platform where they uh, slid the body in. Uh, the body did not go in through the, the uh, two and a half, three foot diameter hole. Uh, if you yeah. stick your head in that hole, you can look around to the right and there's a larger opening, obviously, where they, they slid the body in. There must be another way in there. We just don't know it. Right. But uh, it was just totally awesome seeing, seeing the, uh, the human remains as well as uh, well as the remipede, Ed, was also fascinating. Are you talking about bugs, Rich? Well, it's not actually a bug, Ed. It's a, it's, it's a crustacean, all right? It's a, it's a new family of crustacean. And uh, they inhabit the cave. They're, uh, they're located over in the chamber of the ancients. They're cave dwellers. They're acceptable on our show. Yeah, and, and if you are a cave diver and uh, want to go take a look at these uh, remipedes, uh, we highly recommend that uh, when you go into this location, you go in in the dark. The actual chamber of the ancients again, right? Right. Go into the chamber of the ancients only in the dark. Right. The reasoning behind this is that if you have your flashlight on, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to attract the uh, fish from the pond uh, that'll follow your light. If the fish get back in this chamber in the ancients, uh, they, they will start the eating. These the are eat. like the last ramipedes known on Earth. Well, I, I think there's some other ones around somewhere, but it's a very delicate, very fragile colony, and you want to, uh, uh, you don't want to alter the ecology of the cave by bringing a predator in from the pond. Right. So it's important to uh, remember that if, if, in fact, you're certified and you want to go down there and take a look at these uh, these fire sites and and uh, remipedes. Uh, but let's take a look at some footage. I think that would be good. Let's take a look at the cave dude from the car wash footage. Uh, that is above the pond. This algae blanket uh, is present in the summertime. We had been diving in this cenote uh, in uh, February, and the algae blanket was not there at all. Uh, so this is a summer phenomena for this pond. These are the tetras that uh, feed off of this algae blanket. We'll shortly be in the cave and taking a look at the Neolithic caveman. <laughs> looking at here is a fire site uh, that's in the chamber of the ancients. Uh, charcoal is in the center of your screen. Uh, this fire site uh, was carbon-14 date, date tested to 12,000 years. Uh, this is when the caves were above water last and since then they've been filled up with water and no one's been in them for the last 12,000 years. This animal is a remipede which is the newly discovered family of crustacean. This uh, remipede was discovered in uh, 1987 in this location. Now, this is another fire site in the Chamber of the Ancients. Uh, 
you're looking at here is the chamber in which the human remains were found. These remains were found by Steve Girard, who is a cave explorer uh, and also a cave guide in the Yucatan Akamal area. Uh, what you're looking at are the two femurs from about the center of your screen, uh, now off at 9 o'clock. Those are the upper leg bones. And pointing uh, from the approximately the center of the screen going towards uh, 10 o'clock are the two lower leg bones. Uh, those are the tibia and fibula. Uh, this is obviously human. At about 5 o'clock is where the pelvis would be located. And under the silt pile there uh, would more than likely be the rest of the remains, the rib cage and, and skeleton. In this particular area, I noticed that there was some charcoal uh, off to my right about five or six feet away. Uh, this charcoal is probably due to some ceremonial fire at the time of the burial. This particular individual had to be a very important person in the tribe to be buried in this location. It's 87 feet down from the jungle floor level and it had to be a difficult climb to get down there with the body. So this particular person uh, had to be important. He appears to be had buried on a gurney type of an arrangement. If you look under the bones, there appears to be some kind of a platform there. Uh, these bones have not been date tested as of yet. The Mexican Archaeological Society has some interest in uh, doing some exploration in this particular site. We're now on the way out of the cave, so I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the remipedes as well as the uh, human remains. Now that's some serious footage right there. It was cool, was it not? Those yeah. are cave dudes. Yeah, uh, as I was told, uh, there's only three people in the world that have uh, seen those human remains, and uh, uh, that makes it some totally awesome footage. That, that caveman is a Neolithic cave person, by the way, Ed. Couldn't have gone in there any time recently. How do you think he got in there? Yeah, the caves have been filled with water for 12,000 years because they uh, carbon-14 date-tested the uh, charcoal that yeah, you saw in our fire sites. Charcoal's 12,000 years old. How old do you think the guy is? Yeah, uh, that uh, particular site has not been uh, excavated archaeologically at all. Uh, uh, there's some uh, rumors that some Mexican cave diving archaeologists will be uh, taking a look at that site in the future. Uh, but it's I, hard to believe because it's one of the most heavily trafficked sites in the Yucatan. You but this is, is it a place Ed, where uh, very few people would go? I mean, it, it's it's not obvious where this where this uh, caveman is. Yeah, right. Uh, I wanted to comment on the on the remipede also the uh, crustacean that we showed you. Uh, well, it's actually a, a new family of crustacean that was uh, found in 1987. But uh, uh, that's an interesting uh, find for zoologists that uh, there are still animals out there that uh, do not have their a name on them yet. But we're going to have to go in. Uh, I wanted to mention if uh, people had footage they want to get on the show, uh, they can send into our P.O. box and we'll uh, get back in touch with you and take a look at your footage. And if it's the kind of stuff that uh, we can put on the show, we'll be glad to put your footage on as well as uh, just